Good, 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 good. Awesome. Good morning. Come on, Carberry. How you doing? Good morning. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Man, I had I, I had this thing charging all night and the battery died, but luckily I had an extra battery. I'm I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry that I'm not focusing on you, but I'm taking advantage of seeing how your dog is assessing my situation. Yeah. So I just want to focus on him. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. So this is, man, he's got some big, beautiful testicles. Those things are, oh, yeah, boy, they're bad. just wig. Man, oh my God, good sit. Okay. <laughs> Check it out. I saw this gentleman walking down the road, and he had this cute little chihuahua puppy. And I saw you kind of stumbling in because you recently had some surgery, you were saying, yes? Yeah, uh, foot amputation. Oh, wait, you got a fake leg on? Yeah. No, can, may, I, may I see? It's, Hold on. It's fake. Holy shit. Okay, so I found him, yeah, and I, and I gave him a ride. And off, this is a little chihuahua puppy, huh? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, listen. So, the, the puppy's not for sale? No. So, I just wanted to help you out, give you a nice little walk over here. Yeah? And then, look. Today is the day the Lord made for you. Thank you. Let me help you inside, yes? Good, good. So, you don't fall over, okay? You're welcome. What I brought you Oh, you just got that one? Yeah. So they don't know each other? No. Wow, okay. So this is a future. Hi, my love. Okay. Oh, there is? Okay. Look at that little bee. Hi, Bubba. Hi, little baby. You gone. Just looking for syrup. Knows I'm a sweetheart. All right. So, okay. Beautiful dog. Here. Oh, oh, all right. He's big as hell. Okay. So, how much do you think he weighs, sir? I'm not sure, man. Okay, I, I he looks waited, big. I haven't weighed him in And a he's while. a nice h height, huh, Cranberry? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you something. Is this the way he greets people normally? Or is he just like this because I've been standing down here running my jaw? Or is this how he typically greets people? Yeah, it okay. So does he let strangers pet him? Oh yeah, once I once I bring him out. Hello, good morning. That's my wife. Yeah, once I bring him out, okay, he's big boy. Cool, but it's just the okay. strangers he typically. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, man, he's a beautiful dog. Okay, and then let me ask you another thing, sir. It does. Yeah, he's big. Does he um? Does he ever get loose out here? Oh yeah, I let him run around. Okay, cool. He doesn't run away then. No, sir. Oh, what a wonderful thing. Okay. All right. Uh, would you bring him out, please? You can leash him up, however, whatever you want to do, sir. Good down, my love. Okay. See, this is interesting. So he definitely got a lot of respect for you, huh? Oh, hold on, hold on. Will you close up, sir? Please. I like the way he moves, cranberry. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Don't talk about, I'm talking about the owner. Oh, the owner. Okay. I like the way dad moves, yeah, Cranberry. Okay. May I tell you, I really love what you did there. For the love of God, sir, I love that. Listen, you're, wow. So may I tell you, I love how you, if this is the way you typically do it, that's amazing. Just, no, no, but what I mean is like you're moving in basically in the silence, yeah? So like when you went to go open the kennel, you didn't say anything, you know, the only thing I would change is good sit, my love, is I would praise him with the good word theory. So let me give you an example, yes? So whenever he looks at you and sits, I would act as if you're answering a prayer of his. So take every action that you want to encourage as if it is a way of communicating with you. Okay. So if he sits and you look at him, like, like, so see, really quickly, so see how you said good boy there? So that was ineffective. And in fact, that prompted him to get pumped up. So what I mean is, that, let me give you an example. It doesn't matter when it comes from me, yes? He doesn't care about listening to me. Because in a, in a weird way, he's only he wants to worship you, yeah? For lack of a better term, okay? So let's say that he looks at, yeah, that he puts his butt on the ground, yeah? And then you look at him. So you're not looking at him at all, but you're aware of him in your peripheral vision. So do you see? So the moment that he puts his butt on the ground, right? If you look at him and you say, good sit and nod your head and you make eye contact with him, you're teaching him how to contact you, how to answer his prayer you know in, in the same way that why people would you know kneel and put their hands together so that hopefully god will come out of the sky and answer your prayer that's how you have to look at these things because to him you there is no no, high, no higher power good sit my love so let's say really quickly sir that when he barked if you would have looked at him when he barked then guess what you're teaching him that that also well yes sir not only that but that also teaches him that that is a way of getting your attention Listen, do you understand that, you know this, do you understand that people have even gone as far as sacrificing animals because they thought that would get God's attention? You see what I mean? So I'm not judging, sir. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, 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 you, this dog is pretty rational. You got you got power over this dog. I love it. This dog is really good. Okay, so as I was saying, sir, as I was saying to you, yes, I want you to understand that. Now, even in this situation, okay, the way you're handling this is appropriate because you're not reacting. There's nothing to be nervous about. You got to be calm. Listen, I'm telling you, if I was a stranger and I was here assaulting you, Right then it would be different. You know what I mean? Then you wouldn't be behaving and moving the way that you're moving. Uh, it is very, very, so what I'm trying to get across to you is that whenever we look at him, observe him, engage him, it is in a way as if we are answering a prayer. Yeah, yeah. Like even right now, this all this acting up, he wants to get out to do whatever, to intimidate us, to make us run away, to sniff us, to investigate us. So every time that you look at him in this situation, you're rewarding. Now, may I tell you right now that you looked at him when he got quiet, you're rewarding the fact that he's quiet. If right now when he got quiet, when you looked at him, and I understand you're not talking because I'm I'm, I'm talking now. Yes, thank, thank you. But let's say that in this context, you know, I'm just hanging out. And every time he gets quiet, you look at him and you say good quiet or good settle or good out. You're teaching him a word and connecting it to a behavior, which in this situation is becoming silent. Does that make sense? So look, right now as he barks, Right, when we come out for some classes, whenever he gets to barking from now on, let's say that he's frustrated at you because you're teasing him with a treat or anything like that, or a ball, or the tug toy, if he if he barks out of frustration, you're going to want to say, good apooch. Good apooch, yeah, good apooch. Yeah. So if I was you and I was saying that to him, now I'm telling him, yeah, I like that you're getting pumped up, and you're associating a word, okay? So let's practice what I just said really quickly because today he's not leaving, we're doing a class. So I'm gonna teach you how to move with him, okay? So again, I know it is hard not to look at a dog and keep in mind that because I am staring at him, it keeps the promotion. Observation creates reality in this situation, I tell you the truth, sir, okay? So now watch what we're gonna do. Good quiet, my love. Hands up. Good, as soon as he gets quiet now, you're going to look at him and you're going to tell him good, good, good out. And then at, then you're going to posture as if you're going to open the kennel like you did. And if he sits, you're going to tell him good sit. If he tries to come out, you're going to block him from not letting him come out with the kennel without saying the word N-O. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. I only want you to ping good behaviors. Oh, you got it, man. Listen, you're doing good. Yeah? Man. Listen, look at the pause on that. Dog. <laughs> That's a big dog. Okay. You think we're all right? I mean, oh, him, yeah. you? Okay. No, no, yeah, yeah, but you got you got this, yeah? All right, I trust you, I trust you, you got this. Good, good, good. Well, the water there is gonna probably prevent him from sitting, okay? And that's okay, he doesn't have to sit, as long as he doesn't come out. You, now tether him, please, as long. The object here is for him not to come out. So right now I would say good wait. Do you know why we're saying good wait? Because he's waiting for you to tether him, sir. Do you see what I mean? So the object here is just for him to not come out of that Exactly. And, and now may I tell you, because you have a different level of control, we're going to, you're doing good. We're going to kick it up a notch. Yeah, I got to stretch you, sir. <laughs> so what I want you to do now is I want you to step away. And as you step away, please uh, allow no tension to come to that leash. Okay. And if he starts to come out, you're going to close the kennel upon him or use your body to get him back in there without saying the word N-O and only saying good weight when he is in fact behind that door. Okay. You ready? So step away, please. So you're, I want him to come out. I, uh, no, 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 uh, uh, no, no. So no, pull him back in there and tell him good weight. I don't want to, so there you go, good weight. Pull him all back in there. Don't tell him anything else. Just start, pull, push him in there, pull him in there, pull him in there, pull him in there, pull him in there. You're doing good, good job. Tell him good, 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 good. Praise him, good, good, good. You're doing good, perfect. All right, most people aren't gonna be that strong enough, okay? I see those muscles, it's good weight, good weight. Now there you go, now open it, no, open it, sir. So I want him to think it's okay to come out, but you're going to teach him through your act. No, uh, oh, open it, sir. No, no, open it. So you're only closing it as a response to his desire to come out. Right. You're testing him. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, you remember how I asked you earlier, he's been off leash out here and you're like, oh yeah, he runs around. I trust you, yeah? Okay. All right, will you take that leash off of your hand? Don't drop it yet, don't drop it yet. And I don't want you to bend over and make it obvious that you're dropping it, sir. It of course. Listen, he has ways and means that you have ways and means that he knows not of. 
Remember that. It is imperative that he understands this principle, sir. I'm keeping it real with you. Oh, All right. So take the leash off of him, please. No, no. Oh, I messed up. I'm so nervous. I'm keeping. I'm scared. All right. People always say, "Be good." The trainer wasn't afraid of the dogs. Well, listen. It, there's nothing wrong with having fear. You know. Listen. I tell you the truth. Yes, and you know this, sir. You know, uh, King David. You know, when he when in the Bible it says that everybody was afraid, but that when he saw the giant ri rise, he ran quickly to engage him. He was probably afraid. Courage is willing to persist despite the fear. You know this, okay? Mm -hmm. So I hear the howling from heaven, I'm here. So let's make it happen, okay? Right. So you're going to step away now. And as you step away, when you don't think he's paying any attention, you're gonna let that leash drop, okay? So like right now, you see when he's not paying any attention, so you're gonna tell him good weight and walk, walk away from him, please. Good weight, there you go. Oh, ooh, so he hurt, oh, there's a clasp on the end of that leash. So we just dinged him, okay? Good weight. So see right now, yes, sir, look at him and tell him good weight. Now start to move away, please. So we want him to come out, good weight. Perfect, sir. Perfect, sir, good weight, praise him, good weight. So if he's making, see, he's looking at you for direction, sir. So now you have to act as if you have come out of the heavens, out of the nowhere. And now you're taught good weight, my love. Good weight, my love. Good weight. Now, unfortunately, we got to kick it up a notch. Do you see what I mean? Because listen, in order for him to learn, he has to be stressed. Yes, those beautiful muscles that you have did not come just by sitting around. They came from you stressing that body, yeah? For oh yeah 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 for sure y'all got hey you gotta start doing stressing that body boy if you're ever gonna get you ever gonna catch a catch a date on a uh, christiansingle.com or whatever you gotta start working out buddy all right so look yeah it's a good weight this dog's doing good so I want you to understand something even when I'm like jostling around like this oh no no you did good no don't close it dude you got a level of power don't disrespect your power in front of me please don't disrespect your power. Listen, how amazing that that dog barked and did not, I'm, hey, I'm not mad at you either. Yeah, your neighbor's about to call a cop. They're like, who's out there yelling at him? Yeah, he's got muscles. Why doesn't he take him down? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, not, I'm just getting, I get passionate, sir. All right, passion, yeah? But listen, no offense. Yeah, I didn't mean to check you there, but you messed up because the dog barked but did not come out. I would have said, good, wait. So in that situation, sir, you, you observed the, you, you made a negative move to a positive. You focused on the negative. Well, and actually, the bark is not a negative. He doesn't know. Me. He doesn't know me, huh? I might be out here getting crunk with you, sir. He doesn't know I'm loud. Cranberry. Yeah, good weight, my love. So look right there that he looked at me and he's looking at me like, what in the world? That's the time to say good weight because he is choosing an action. Remember, sir, and all that is acceptable. Inaction is a choice unto itself. Yes, choosing to be still. You know, like it says, listen, we are going to in part have to teach him to how to be still and commune with his own heart and be still because he cannot be reactive. Because we're going to guard dog train him. He's in our man stopper program, Cranberry. Hey, man, why are you staying at the grass so much? Watch over here in case the dog comes out and you got to come and pick me up. You got to take the bullet from me if he comes out to bite me, Cranberry. All right. I'm telling you the truth, buddy. Part of your job description tries to bite me. You take it from me. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're looking at the grass, dude. You're ridiculous. Handsome. Good weight. Now, sir, step away, please. Come towards us. Leave the kennel door open. If he comes out, you'll step on the leash. And may I tell you, I don't want you to panic unless he's going to run off. So if he moves, you move with steady purpose. Calm, okay? Good weight. Come towards us, sir, please. As you watch him, keep your body towards him. Good weight. Because if he's looking at you for direction, sir, step back. Good weight. Keep walking backwards. Oh, no. Oh, there. Now walk towards him. Now, as he fixes himself, tell him, good weight. Go all the way towards him. Close the door on him and open it back up. Good weight. Wait, wait. So step back. So timing, we're going to change it. Open it again. So I only want you to close it as a, as an, as a response to his trying to come out. I, I want you to close it and open it. So no, good weight. Perfect. Open it. So as soon as he starts to back up, I want you to stop closing it. Do you see what I mean? Now, open it more, sir. And come towards us, please. Again, tell him, good weight. Now, open it the other way. Yeah, perfect. Open it and come back towards us. Come back towards us. Good weight. No, if he doesn't step out, don't close it, okay? Because then otherwise you're just doing a dance with him, okay? Then he's going to enjoy it. Come back. Good weight. All the way back, sir. Good weight. We want him to come out. Look there. No. And, and, and use the leash. And pull him in. Pull him in. Now pull him in. Ideally with the leash without grabbing him. Quickly. Forcefully. With as much force as you need to. Good job. Good weight. Perfect. You did it. So may I tell you? If he was a Labrador or a Doodle, picking him up and doing it the tender way that you did the first time is appropriate. But because we're dealing with a man stopper that cannot turn on you, you got to do it like that. You see? Yeah. And I like the word aggressive. Yeah, I mean, you know, just... So these are the things I don't want to do to him. 
You have to do, I don't want to discipline your boy. I will, if you can't do it yourself, I'll do it for you, you paid me, okay? But I don't want to, do, good wait, no sir, don't do it then. Unless he steps out, you don't, you don't open, you don't close the door, right? You're just using the door almost as a, as a reinforcement of your will, okay? So now step away and every time he looks at you, you're going to tell him good wait. Whenever you think he is thinking about coming out but doesn't, you're going to say good wait. Good wait. And it's okay if he comes out as long as you grab the leash and push him back in there. Do you see what I mean? Step back, please. Good wait. Further back, sir, please. Good wait. Now, do you feel comfortable walking towards your garage door? If he bites us, it'll be good. We'll go viral. Are you right with that? Okay. With the door, with his door open. Yeah. Now look right there. Now close the door on him. Good. Now open it. Perfect. That's all you had to do. No, no. There you go. Good wait. And listen, use your body too. So, and, and not just the door, but make him more worried about your your physical presence. Use your knee, kick your knee out, whatever. You know, you know, not be mean, but just make it, there you go. I like that. I like that more than the door. Because what if you don't, I like that. Good wait. And when he backs up is when you say good wait. Do you see what I mean? Good job. Now walk to the door, sir. Good, good, good. You, do, you have tremendous control over this dog. Good job. Go ahead and walk towards the door. Good wait. Good wait. And if he comes out, you're going to calmly go step on the leash and put him back in. Good wait. <laughs> Big ass dog, dude. <laughs> He's doing good. Good wait. Good job. You're adding what I call the law of distraction. Because remember, without stress, without resistance, he doesn't learn anything. I need, so we, he needs the struggle, right? Very good. Good wait. Now close the door on him, please. Completely. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're going to give it a second. Then you're going to open it. You're going to grab the leash and you're going to touch him. Ideally with your left hand in between his eye and his ear, sir. So you're like tap and then you're going to grab the leash. That tap indicates to him that it is okay to come out okay good job go ahead open the door if he tries to come out you're going to push him back you're going to make it obvious with your physicality there you go now touch the, the left there you go and now grab his ear. now perfect bring him on out sir cranberry walk towards me buddy please come on come on human shield buddy human shield come on part of your new job description okay good 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 all right sir what a beautiful dog wow he has some big old testicles what a gigantic yeah he got a lot of oh he look at his back end cranberry why is his back end so big? It's massive. He's like his mama, huh? He got that big old back end. Yeah. Elliot has a big back end, yeah? Okay, so listen really quickly. So uh, for training purposes, unless you, you habitually keep him on your right-hand side. Oh, damn, I got scared. Hold on, hold on, I'm back. I'm back. Don't, don't, don't do that, Kermit. Hold on, you, would you, do you think he's going to be aggressive to me or just be I, playful? He, he may want to play. Okay, he's excited, okay. He's excited. So the collar is on, you know, uh, the reversed. Yeah, it should be on the other way. So like, look, if you look down at it, if you're reading it like that, it looks like a nine instead of a P. So if you're looking at the dog from in front of you and you follow the leash, it goes through the ring and back as a as a nine and could sit as a nine instead of a P. Yeah. You see what I mean? So it's supposed to be on the other way, yeah? But that's okay for now. I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, I want to observe how he does this. It's perfectly all right. We're just going to start using it that way with him, okay? okay. You have a good level of control over him. I, Cranberry, do you, you think he's being happy? You think he's being friendly? Yeah, he okay. he's happy. You're okay with him bringing him up to you then? Yeah. Okay, you okay with that? Okay. Dad, you feel comfortable taking him up to Cranberry? Oh, yeah. Will you please take him up to Cranberry then? Yeah. Don't get near me, Cranberry. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> you okay. want to get it That's, I like that though, okay? All right. So, is, and, and you're not doing anything wrong. I just want you to do, do normal, okay? Just give him the end of the leash, please. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> that dog's big, dude. You know, people don't understand. That's a, that's a bigger than average kennel, okay? Yeah, yeah. People think that's like a regular size kennel. And you're a big, and you're, you're, yes, sir. People don't know that, okay? That one has pins, all right? And then you're a big guy, yeah? So, like, all those things give you the false sense that he's a little that he's a little he's gigantic dude he's big and he's got big paws and he's got listen he's gonna be this dog is gonna be massive do you know why he's got a tremendous back end he he looks like like yeah like i mean he's got like he's got like a back end like a baseball player bam no look how broad his chest is cranberry okay and listen may i tell you i love the fact that he's so rowdy with people so when he, people come over, obviously he wants to jump all over them, grab them and stuff. Yeah, he and know you once he walks, but if someone comes to pull up, he'll do, do like he did with you. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he's defensive until he's he realizes that it's okay. Yeah, well, it's more he's feeding off of you, sir. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, he realizes that it's okay. So he he uh he comes out and then he's is he so really? And I'm not judging. I'm asking for a reason. I'll explain to you. Yes. Uh -huh. So he will like try to grab people, maybe try to hump them. Jump at their face. Nah. So, but it looked like that's what he was doing to Cranberry. He just wants to jump on. He hasn't even started humping anybody. Okay. 
So he does. I like how you said he has an even, okay? Because yeah. that's cut. Let me tell you, when you're dealing with a guard dog, those are all good signs. All right? You know what I mean? So listen, I got to tell you the truth. Good sit, my love. So just to put it in perspective for you, okay? It's kind of like when you're raising a guard dog, you have to accept some liberties that you would not tolerate, rather, some indiscretions that you would not tolerate if you weren't training a guard dog. And I'll give you an example in the Bible, yes? Samson. In the Bible, Samson used God for his purpose, and Samson would be with, you know, ladies of the night, different thing. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Huh? Hey, hey, okay, there you go. So, uh, thank you. Give me goosebumps, sir. Bless you. This is gonna work out good. I, I'm sorry, man. That's a big old dog. Right? I'm, I'm got a, I got a buckle. Good sit, my love. So do you understand? So see right there when he put his butt on the ground, sir. I like how you touched him. So it would be nice that as you did, pet him under the chin, but tell him good sit, good sit. So he understands that you like that behavior. Now I want you to understand when he's hanging out with us. If you're ignoring him the whole time and the only time you touch him or pet him is when he sits. He starts to understand that's how you want him to move. And it goes further than that. If I, as a stranger, am standing here next to you, in front of you, and he's wiggling at me and standing and moving, and I'm looking at him, smiling, even moving away, I'm encouraging that behavior. If I'm able to be stoic and turn into a pillar of salt, which is hard because he's big, but if I were able to still myself and not move and only look at him or react, however, when he sits, then I'm also teaching him that's how he gets my attention. But unfortunately, it's gonna be damn near impossible for me not for me not to fidget when he moves because he's big, all right? And it's intimidating. And I know he doesn't wanna hurt me, but may I tell you, the good potty, my love. Good potty, my love. Handsome, good potty, my love. Good potty, my love. Good potty, my love. Good potty, my love. Handsome. So you see how I did that there? Whenever you see him pee, like when, he's, when he stretches like that to go potty, start telling him to good potty. That's the good word theory. I'm telling you this for a reason, because let me tell you the second part. When he starts hiking his leg, oh, damn. That dog is punk. Listen, he ain't no punk. He'll fight me right now. Oh, oh hold on, yeah, he might, I might have pissed him off. So I don't know that I'm gonna pet him right now, because I, I think I done pumped him up, dude. Think about it, how many people come over here and not crazy like me, huh? People come out here with respect, sir. <laughs> oh, cranberry! I don't think he's being friendly to me anymore. I think he's ready to fight me. Listen, we got a good man stopper on our hands. Oh, cranberry! Oh my God! But people don't come out here being loud. You know, and moving their leg out and stuff, acting crazy, huh? Right? They don't come out here with the spirit. That's what's wrong with them. I'm out here with spirit, huh, cranberry? Is that spirit? Yeah. It's absolutely nothing wrong. Awesome. I love it, man. I love this dog spirit, dude. Trust me, he's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, listen, I'm telling you, you got an awesome dog, man. I'm, I'm telling you right now, so this is what I was saying back. Because he has those beautiful testicles, what's gonna happen is he's gonna start hiking his leg. When you see him hike, I'm not gonna do that motion because it'll pump up, all right? I like that, yeah? I love it, all right? So look, if we have, so let me tell you, I have a borbo right now, South African borbo, okay? Yes, sir. So dad wants to enroll, upgrade him to a man stopper program. But that dog is so calm and peaceful, oh, man. Oh, it ain't getting him old. Yeah, that's the, that's the trash so look right there, again, all, I'm telling you, man, I tell you, sir, he is the dog, I, I, I don't think we've met a better man stopper candidate than, oh, Cranberry. And listen, man, no offense, all right? Not to floss or anything, but let's floss right now, yeah? He's my bloodline, you know, I know what's up. You know what I mean? He's from the, from the Lord's bloodline, Cranberry. From the mighty Esau and Elu. People do, listen, the only thing about Elu is, but back then, you know, my channel only had like 100 subs when I had my last litter. Yeah. So we didn't focus on Elliot as much because everybody's about the males, about the males. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I always focus on men. But if, listen, man, we, I, I lost, I lost that iPad, but we had videos of Elliot grabbing bulls, bringing cranberry. I promise you, grabbing bulls, like fighting bulls, getting kicked and coming right back at the bull. Yeah. Hardcore. So I'm going to tell you something. This is a lot of dog. All right. But you're handling him well. Yeah. This is why I told you, sir. Remember when we spoke, I said to you, uh, I think 80% of the dogs we bred from Esau and Elliot have come back to us and we've had to place them. Yeah, I know. So there are a lot of dogs, sir. So you're doing well. You're managing well, okay? Yeah, Cranberry. He's big, dude. So listen, may I tell you, sir, pound for pound, he's like my buy it. That, that, that uh, I, I ended up having to sell him when, I, when I'm near death experience as well. Uh, yeah, man, but listen, buy it sold for maybe about $11,000 11, fully trained. Awesome, good sit, my love. You got an awesome dog on your hands. It's gonna be a great pleasure to work with him and with you, sir. And you're about your father's business, I can see it, yeah? So you're about to be good. You're gonna understand where I'm coming from because listen, 
What I'm trying to do, sir, is I'm trying to build a warrior. A guard dog like you see other trainers where these dogs are in competition sports. A lot of those dogs are playing a game. I'm trying to act as if we're here raising King David for you, yeah? He's here for you, yeah? And But part of that, you have to understand that he has to have a little bit of extra in him. Yo, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Samson did, all right? Yeah, yes, swag, sir, a little know, swear. He's got yeah, to. Yeah. If you're Listen, if every time he meets somebody, good sit, my love. You're correcting him and you're punishing him and you're telling him to sit. I tell you, that's not the way the Lord raised Samson. He didn't raise Samson to bow to another king. He raised Samson to be what's up. So I'm going to tell you something. The mighty Esau, when you meet him, he's not going to jump at you, but I've never forced him. I've never come upon him and told him to sit whenever he would come up to somebody. If I saw they were uncomfortable with people, like, you know, I'm uncomfortable with him coming up to me, I just didn't let him get near them unless they were comfortable with it. Now, if I was raising a service dog or a golden retriever or something, I force my I force my will upon that dog. I make that dog sit whenever somebody approaches him or he approaches somebody. But it good down, my love. But if I'm training a guard dog, sir, I I I redirect that desire to to jump on them. Exactly. So if I take a like when I Esau was a puppy, when I would take him in public, he would act like this when he would jump at people. I would pet him and and like love on him, comfort him, act towards him with great compassion, gather him with great compassion. All the while, I would be looking at the person he was jumping upon and saying, I'm sorry that he's jumping on you. And I'd be looking at, at Esau telling him, you know better, Bubba, you shouldn't be jumping. It's irrelevant what I'm saying to him, sir. He doesn't care. He doesn't understand it. All he hears is that I'm praising him. And I'm encouraging and I'm proud that he's so bold that he's willing to jump on Goliath because he doesn't know. He's assessing Goliath. Are you friendly? Listen, just because Goliath, the Bible didn't say Goliath was evil because he was a giant. The Bible said Goliath was evil because of his spirit. You see what I mean? So just to get hot because you're seeing you're in the presence of a giant, I would say is a sin. It's wrong. Don't get mad just because he's bigger than you. Otherwise, I couldn't do business with you, sir. You're way bigger than us. You're a giant. You know, I'm telling you, let's keep it real. Yeah, I'm li I, little. Look at this little guy compared to him. Yeah, little. You know what I mean? Both of you are giants. Yeah, he's a giant. He's got a giant dog at his side. You mean business, yeah? Think about that, okay? So I can't be irrational and just because somebody or a, a, another presence, another being is bigger than me that I have to shudder. Think about people, sir, okay? Temperament. Like you said earlier, it's the temperament, okay? There are some people that maybe act in a way that it's just not appropriate for the timeline that we are currently in, but in a different timeline, it would be wholly acceptable and appropriate, all right? There are people that are afraid of their own shadow, and there are people that aren't afraid of their shadow and cast the big shadow. Do you understand what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to tell you, sir, yes? So the giant is there, yeah? Now, he has to... Oh, when he lunges at me, when he's jumping at me to sniff my face, he's trying to take information. Is he a friendly giant or is he, how is he going to greet us, assess us, yes? So in that situation, I'm petting the dog and I'm praising the dog. I'm making it, I'm acting as if I'm upset, but I'm playing a role. Now, in a situation like, let's say I don't want my dog to jump, I'm barbecuing and I don't want, now I would not let my, my dog, this dog, greet anybody that is going to be uncomfortable with him jumping on them. Right. And in that situation, you know what I would do? I would do everything that we've done here. I'd put him on the leash, I'd keep my distance from them, but I'd, I'd let him be wild, and I would praise him with the good word theory whenever he is settled, sir. So if I were to, for example, you know, like let's say I felt this, a sharp pain in my stomach out of the nowhere, and I buckle, and he sees that I buckle, and he fails to move, then you say, good leave it, or good settle. Remember, sir, inaction is a choice unto itself. So I, you are tasked at the moment with praising him for being still, like the Bible tells us. Be still upon your bed and commune with your own self before you make a rash decision. Do you see what I mean? You are the one that is teaching him that, and you have the power because you have the leash and collar on him. If he doesn't do it, you are strong enough to force him into it. You can change him. You can change his environment. You can do it. Do you see what I mean? So that's all I'm asking you to do because we are tasked with teaching him to be reactive, sir. See what I mean? Now, I, if I have to do both, then your results suffer. Because 
the being still, communing has to come with you. You are his, for lack of a better term, you are his higher power, you are his God, you are who he seeks. And in that regard, that's why I'm telling you, we wanna drop like the word good boy. We wanna drop all, we just wanna say either chant the word good, 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 or say the word good. And if I were you, sir, I would start being completely ambivalent, ignoring him all the time. I want you to, whenever you're moving with him, really quickly about whenever you meet with people. Yes, go back to that, yeah? Good, upset. No, no, stop, stop, stay. Good, upset. So that's a beautiful thing. He just sat up from you from a down, sir. So the right thing to do is say, good, upset. Because can you imagine if somebody's talking to you and you ask them to leave and, and your dog's laying down and they don't want to leave, the very first thing you can do is say, upset. Oh my God, look, I'm getting goosebumps, my hair's rising. You say upset and that big old gargoyle at your side rises and all of a sudden, let's watch this, yeah, let's see what happens, okay? And I want you to handle it the right way for a guard dog, yeah? So you're gonna praise him for any and, oh, they're not coming out? Okay, I thought they were gonna come out, that's what I meant. So may I tell you in this situation, that thing pulling up, every time he glanced at that vehicle and failed to move, Praise him, sir. Good, 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 good. And don't touch him, because when you touch him, you're initiate. Oh man, you know what's up? We're, we're right here, man. We're right here. I, I love that. Now, oh, and he's coming around your side. Now apply pressure, sir. Beautiful. So you see how? Listen. Every, he likes to walk around your side. Yes. When he walks around your side, tell him good heel, good heel, because he is coming at your heels, sir. And then when he comes next to you, start applying pressure. And if the collar is on the right way, when you let go of that, see right now it's on wrong because when you let go of the leash, it doesn't relinquish. It doesn't release, you see what I mean? So the other way it falls back, it relaxes. So you apply, yes, sir. Exactly, sir. Exactly. And without telling him to sit, let me tell you a story and this might make you uncomfortable, okay? And I'm sorry if it does, sir, okay? But I'm gonna tell you how I view things, okay? After my nearest experience, yeah? Cause I flat, man, let me tell you, sir. I realized something, yes? You know, in the Bible, in the beginning, in Genesis, it says that we are here to dominate the earth. So I'm going to tell you something. No offense, okay? But you have people, and, and you can back this up, and if I'm wrong, good down, my love. It's okay, all right? But let's say Moses, one of the greatest prophets, considered the greatest prophet, okay? Great prophet. Yeah, I'd love to be like Moses, yes? So let's say, and a lot of times with my dog training, I feel like Moses because I'm not one to want to boss people around. I feel like a lot of dog training is, I'm sorry to say, slavery, yeah? Because it, I would hate to be nagged all the time. Even, haven't I been telling you, urging you not to nag him, not to boss him around? I've been urging you to, and, and instead, acknowledge the, show him how he's blessed, yes? Exactly. Acknowledge the goodness, yes? Because you, you ultimately don't want to punish him. You want to love him. You, it's your boy. You told me. That's my boy, yeah? As if he was your daily delight as a child before the world was, yes? That's how you want to... Good, good, good. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, good down. Okay. So, very good. And it's okay if he's there. Now, this is showing that he's relaxed. He's not an irrational dog because he's already lit up at you and he's calmed down at me and he's calmed down. So, either way. You know, the one thing about Moses, my favorite thing about Moses is this, yes, is that it seemed that regardless of how often and how powerful he was with God and how he shared something with God that no other prophet shared, that God even said, if he was just my prophet, he wouldn't see my face, but he sees my face. I want you to understand that every time he was confronted with a problem, he didn't know he was affected by it. I'm, I don't mean to disrespect, but what I mean by this, sir, is that he came upon the, ocean, the, the Red Sea, yes? Yeah. Right, is that the Red Sea? Yeah. He came upon it. So instead of knowing what to do, which he already knew what to do, because God said, I was with you, yes? There was a pillar of smoke in the daytime and fire at night, yeah? How much more evidence do you need? Yes, he's, it's before you. He comes upon the water and he panics. And the good Lord comes out of the heavens, almost upset with him, good down, as they're like, listen, don't you know what to do? I told you I'm with you. Why are you bothering me almost? So then he more or less goes Moses and tells Moses what to do. And almost as if bothered, he parts the, the, the waters for Moses and Moses goes through, okay? Now we have... You know, it, we have another another story in, in, in the Bible where there's a body of water, yes, with Jesus, as you know, yes? So when Jesus comes upon a body of water and the water is troubled, he calms it and he walks upon it, yes? So that is kind of, I wouldn't necessarily say that that is dominating the earth, that is working in harmony with it, how I like to be with my dogs, believe it or not, okay? Now there are other um, people in scripture, you know, in the Old Testament, Elijah, that when he came upon a body of water, he didn't calm it, he didn't walk upon it to work with it, he struck it with a rod and it vanished and he ran past it without hesitating, sir. Do you see what I mean? So Elijah was living by the Old Testament, let's dominate the earth. So in a weird way, you have to be dominant 
but you also have to find that harmony to be able to calm calm the waters and be in harmony with them. So it's the same way, do you see what I mean? In the Old Testament, you're tasked with dominating the earth. In the New Testament, you're tasked with finding harmony with it, but never, oh my God. Oh, listen, no, I almost said the S word, sir. All right, I'm so, man, listen, good job, buddy, because that dog is a lot, yeah? Good sit, my love. You're, but listen, I like how you're not saying the word I know or anything, you're not, you're calm. You're, you're doing a great job, good down, my love. Good settle, he's big, Cranberry. I say he's about 130, 135. He probably gonna top off at what, 160? He's gonna be big, dude. Listen, we're gonna have tremendous video of him biting, yeah? So again, sir, as I was saying, I don't think we're ever tasked with being, we are, and I think the story of Moses helps show us that we are quick to be unsure of ourselves, even though we are the operant power. Do you see what I mean? So same thing with the dog. The dog has to know that he is capable and you trust his decisions. But the ultimate goal with this program, sir, is to teach him something very similar to faith to where he trusts that you understand the situation better than he does. And that's why he's in harmony with you. That's what we're gonna hear do, all right? I'm excited. I'm not gonna pet him today because I'm gonna, depending on, because his reactivity, maybe we'll have Cranberry be his friend and maybe I'll start already teasing him a little bit. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you, dude, we can make great progress if we can work a little defense and pray. So I'd be the bad guy. You know what I mean? Cranberry might be the nice guy. Because the next step, sir, is for us to come back out with your permission out here next week. Because he is scheduled to come, yes? Because you're moving. Congratulations. The Lord is good. Yes? Good down. Exactly. Exactly. So again, listen, you're moving from one place to another. And he is moving from one place to another, yes? Because he's moving from being a puppy to being an adult to being a regular dog to being a well-trained warrior dog for you. Yeah, but we're here to raise a warrior. A capable, knowledgeable, blessed warrior. Awesome. Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and paw the bell so you'll be notified the next time we come back out and work this gargoyle. Yeah, look at them, right? This dog looks like he should be a statue sitting outside of a cathedral somewhere. Guarding the holy place of the Lord. Bless you all. Good, 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 good. So be angry, but sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. But when they do it, they are intent in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I'll spew you out. Would that you're either hot or cold, but because that you are lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't do anything if you're lukewarm. You must be intense about it. No matter what you want, but you must be intense about it. Now that is going to the silence.